Hey everyone, all right, it's uh, Tuesday, October 18th. We're over here on the east side of the property, looking at the pond, obviously. You can see the dark brown spots out there. Um, we really have no idea the depth of this pond. Those brown spots though, I believe are tree trunks, logs that they left, which make great fish habitats. But I really have no idea how deep it is. It's something we still got to figure out. Emily's got a little canoe that she got for free. Again, Fred, I'm sure you're amazed. Um, but she's been out here on the canoe. Sometimes she hits bottom, sometimes she doesn't. But what I don't know is when she thinks she's hitting bottom, is she hitting one of these tree trunks or is it really the bottom? So I really have no idea how to tell. Um, eventually we'll get out here and probably walk around in it, swim around in it. Um, and try to figure it out. But right now it's just, there's a lot of clay in the water. This is where the water table's at. So the other thing I wanna point out is two weeks ago before Hurricane Ian came through, I put this stake down here to try to see how much rainfall we thought we would get. And again, we got no rainfall. Um, but that stake where it's in the ground was at the water line two weeks ago we barely had any rain you can see where the water level is now so it's down another four to six inches so I think I need to one move the stake but two I need a longer stake so water table keeps dropping a little bit because we just we haven't had rain and or any significant rain except for the one night in about two months. So we we're going from having rain almost every day to no rain at all. So, which brings me to the next thing. Uh, we were asked how in the world do we water stuff when it's kind of spread out. Um, we did run 950 feet of water line from where the city water is. We're trying to get a well put in, but we're on a waiting list for that. So what we bought for the tractor is this 45 gallon watering can that just quickly attaches to the back. Um, it's got a boom, which is kind of what I'm using now to water the weeping willow. Boom's not extended, but that's where the water's coming from. Um, and then it's got another garden hose or garden sprayer attachment that's got about 15 feet of hose. So you can also do it individually, but that's how we get to this back side of the property and water stuff because the closest water sources one is back over here and then the other one's over here by the barn over here so you yep, there so um yeah running the garden hose isn't an option so the other plants that we sometimes need to water back here, we got a bald cypress growing right here, and a bald cypress growing right there, but they're so close to the water line, I think they're fine. One of the things that we found out about the property or kind of discovered long after we bought it, are there were these, I believe horse riding trails. So one day we'll have to talk about Cavallo Farms and what I think it was supposed to be. Maybe even try to get the, the plot map up so you can get a better idea of what this neighborhood was. Um, but I it was gonna be an equestrian community. So there was definitely storm ditches, which you've seen that we got two here, but that's what happens when you're not at the lowest point, but when you're the middleman for the lowest point and uh, the higher points. So we got a couple uh, storm ditches, but I believe the original storm ditch started way up there on the road came down across our property then ran back here in the woods and kind of followed this um, and then what they did for the storm ditch they built a swell or what i would call kind of a berm you can see that the ground slopes here and on this side the ground slopes so what I did believe is that they built berms and horse trails for the neighborhood. And what kind of confirms that, one day we'll talk about the other one way up there. 
um, where the first culvert I had to fix was. But if we walk back through here, one of the projects I eventually need to get to is making this an easier path to walk. Plus get rid of some of these little scrubby trees here. It'll also prevent me getting a face full of banana spider, which is the other thing you gotta look out for. But if we come back here, we're, whoop, banana spider. Almost got a face full of that guy. And I just said it. That's gonna make for a great video. All right, so banana spider. Just got a face full because I'm too busy talking to you guys. It's my sacrifice to you. Anyways, this is uh, now back here where that storm ditch kind of goes somewhere back in here. Um, but if you look across, you can see this raised area here again and raised area there. Uh, another banana spider, but I'm not going there. Um, and then it, it goes off back in this way, that storm ditch. So there was originally a bridge or a culvert here where that culvert or bridge went, who knows? Um, and that's not necessarily our property. I think well, I'm right on our property line. So I think it would be neat to build like a little footbridge over there. That way one day I can walk over there and see, but there's a couple beautiful live oaks back on this property. If they would ever sell it at a decent price, Emily and I would probably buy it without even thinking twice. Um, just a gorgeous piece of land. But we'll go back here to this button banana spider and try to finish up here. Let me try not to get a face full of it again. You almost, well, I wouldn't say you almost, you don't see them until they're right in your face. And I can't find this guy, so maybe I messed up his web when I came around this way. Nope, I see him. All right. So, banana spiders. Not really a spider guy to begin with. But when it's that big, I'm really not a spider guy. It's probably the size of the palm of my hand, not my fingers, but the palm of my hand. I don't think they bite. They're just, I don't know, it's still a spider. So either way, um, that's a banana spider. This is the storm ditch area where I think it comes to and then continues down that way. Let me swing around real quick. But eventually I want to clear this pathway out. That way, one, we can easily walk through here. But two, I don't get a face full of banana spider every time I come back here. Talk to you soon, guys.